Ladies and Good evening, everybody. Glad you've made the decision to be with us. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We're glad to be bringing you action and welcoming you to the Metro Manila Arena. We're here in the Philippines for tonight's main event. Ten rounds of heavyweight action. This should be a good one tonight. Both fighters say they are primed, coming off a very intense and passionate training camp. Here's adversary. Fighting out of San Diego, Isaac Frost. Remember, guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Scheduled to go the full 10 if we get that far. Round one underway. The big, burly, dangerous Isaac Frost with a strong combination. Little volume punching to the body there. We've sat through thousands and thousands of fights together ringside. Sometimes you can tell just from the start, like a fight like this, of what you're going to see down the road. And what you're not going to see. You're not going to see a lot of guys running. You're not going to see a lot of defense. You're going to see two guys coming and letting it all lay out. Well, the big man with the big walking stick, Isaac Frost, handling his opponent with the jab. Isaac Frost, the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. This is becoming like a crime scene here. Tyson's DNA is splattered throughout that ring. And you know it's going to influence the fight, not only where maybe he gets a little discouraged, he gets a little down, but maybe his opponent and this is a big baby. Maybe he gets a little careless now going in there for the kill. And maybe that could be an opportunity for him. Isaac Frost almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. Grant, big left hand. Boy, I know he's not in great shape, but all of a sudden he's doing a very good job of defending himself. You know, it's a funny thing. He's fighting on instincts, and sometimes that's a good thing. You don't want to get hurt to get there, but you want to get there. Right now he's doing things without thinking, naturally. Great work by Isaac Frost. Too many of those punches by Isaac Frost, and this night's going to be over. That's a serious power punch he just landed to the head. Frost so dangerous with that accuracy, a two-punch combination landing. What a crushing blow up top he just landed. That's why you don't pull straight back. End of round one. Tyson's defense is going to need to shine when he gets back out there. I mean, just look at the close-up of that cut we're seeing. Yeah, he's got to use his legs. You're right, Joe. He's got to get out there and buy some time for those medicines to work. Listen, you need to move your head more, side to side, okay? I want to see that head move more. Nice work. He can't handle your speed. It's too much for him. Keep it up. He seems fully recovered to me. Here we are, the start of a new round, and a fighter that got tagged hard in the last round seems as fresh as could be. Well, when you push a fighter, when you push a human being to a dark place, that's when you're going to find out what's right inside of them, what's great inside of them. And he's responding just that way. Boy, sharp two-punch combination by Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson's got to feel that right there. He was just tagged by a big uppercut. Showing you a little defensive skill there. I go move away from that punch. Listen, everybody likes to see a great knockout shot to the chin. But truth be told, at this stage of a fight, the foundation for winning comes by going downstairs. It's just like the old timers would say, Joe. You kill the body, the head will follow. Tyson's coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. Flush right hand to the head. 
the final minute of a round that feels like 30 minutes, not three minutes. And this is the kind of fight where you just don't want to have a loser. They're both winners. A crushing two-punch combo by Mike Tyson. Ten clicks of the talk. Nice block by Mike Tyson. End of the round here as we're ringside at our fight night venue. Of course, we're on the road with you every step of the way with a fine crew. We got to give credit to the crew there. Robbie and Rick back in the production truck doing a nice job all cramped up in a tractor trailer. Yeah, they do a great job. They allow us to go on the air and uh, allow us to do the fun part while they're doing the grunt work. They're doing all the difficult things back there. Of course, Mike, Brian, all those guys. We appreciate you very much, and um, we're not taking you out to dinner tonight. Number three is underway. Takes one to get one. He comes back with a right hand. A good two-punch combo by Mike Tyson. It'll be interesting to see how this plays out from here. Tyson's cut is now changing the course of this fight. So the fighter's been trying to do his job. Now the corner man is the most important person right now in that ring. He has to do his job and stop that bleeding. Nice two-punch combo by Mike Tyson. Left and right, left and right. Mike Tyson's combination punching is just perfect there. Three punches landing. Mike Tyson's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Good exchange. He fires back. Tyson showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Cross right hand scores well. By Tyson. Digs in with a good solid uppercut after taking a shot. Good defensive skill. Taking too many punches. Hands up. Tyson showcasing one of the best weapons you can have, especially early on in a fight, to set the tone, and that is the jab. Yeah, and he's shown that it does more than just set up other punches and, you know, just, you know, snap your head back. It disrupts everything. You know, it just throws the other guy's rhythm off, and that's what he's doing a good job on. He's hooking to the body. Where's your hook at? Come on now. You're stronger than him. You need the hook to the body. Take some of his speed away. Let's go. One more shot to the body. You have to start this. Bro, bro, punches, okay? Don't walk into him without throwing a punch. Well, he's up three rounds to zip on Teddy's scorecard here as we start round number four. He's a volume puncher, and that's exactly what he's doing to bank away these early rounds here, Teddy. Yeah, he's not hurting him with any of those shots. And quite honestly, a lot of them are missing. But the other guy's not staying up with him with the punch numbers. He's winning the round. Well, something's got to stick. He sends the combination to the body. He's trying to go downstairs, but off target. Goes up top with the right hand. Mike Tyson with a big uppercut. Frost doing... Oh! Tyson's down by way of a beautiful combination. That was great work. Yeah, and he helped himself or hurt himself by standing there right in the middle. One, two... So he goes down 
haven't been able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving, but if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. Good step back, counter punch there. Beautiful. Really brought it that time. A four punch combination. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. Isaac Frost got a cut. It looks like it's below the eye on the cheek, but it's something that needs to be monitored. That's a well-played, great rest. Solid. How about that? He goes from being the victim to handing out the punishment. One, two. Frost now getting back up off the canvas. The combo lands upstairs. He scored well after being hit himself. Tyson's got a way of just getting away from that punch. Still no defense out of him. Still no ability to stop this onslaught. He's taking serious damage. And you got to worry about his future because the damage he's taking right now for tonight, okay, we understand that, but how is this going to impact him for the future? That's where you're starting to get into a danger zone right now. Calm down now. Calm down. Three. Three. Need another round for you. I need you to be busy this round, all right? He caught you with your hands down. Box smart, not get caught. Box smart. Start of a new round, and I give credit to his corner. Isaac Frost, quarterman, did a really good job after a round in which their fighter was knocked down of just being calm and cool. It's the way they're supposed to be. You know, we always talk about the fighter having to be calm and the experience that a fighter has. Well, that corner has plenty of experience. They just showed it. On the mark with the combination by Mike Tyson. This is where his opponent could use a construction hard hat. If Isaac Frost is throwing a right hand like that, it could be lights out, right to the body. Sound defense, good block that time by Mike Tyson. Zoning in on that gut, combination punch downstairs. Targeting a left hand to the body. This fight is being fought at a pace that is beyond belief, Teddy. Well, this shows you what's great about human beings. I mean, you push somebody, in this case two men, to the brink, to a dark place, and they find a way. They light a candle, they light a torch, they find some way to get to the light. They're both looking for it now. There's the combo to the body. Now another left. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. Tyson's left now getting into the mix. Last 10 seconds. Frost showing you what it takes to be the best in this business. Good, crisp combos. I need to see some counter punches, okay? Whatever he misses, counter! Here we 
are the start of another round, and if everything goes according to the way the first half of this fight went, he's going to be coasting in for an easy win. Well, if his opponent goes along with it, he definitely will, but maybe he'll change the script a little. Flip the script a bit. He got hit, but he sends it right back. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Big, big shot comes crashing home. And once again, he goes down. The question is, can he rise up again? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's over. This fight is over. Tyson's hand to be raised in victory. He scores the knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, by way of knockouts, your That's it. Clear and decisive. Mike Tyson's your winner by knockout. You yeah, just have to love boxing. I mean, clear skies one minute, and then all of a sudden, storm clouds, lightning.